here it is here it is all right final fantasy 16 has finally come out with their official square enix website for the game ps5 we're on the uh english version and we got some new info i've been waiting for this for so long i think they said i think i remember seeing the article saying they were going to release this website at the end of the month like in september but i guess they meant october because uh this k this website uh appeared i think two days ago or one day ago um i will say i've looked at it i've looked through i've read through the descriptions and stuff but i haven't watched any any videos or any articles uh kind of breaking it down so this is going to be kind of my uh raw thoughts reactions to it and we're just gonna we're gonna dive into it first off look at i mean look at this art this is just awesome we got our main character here who we do have a name for we'll get to that in just a minute but you can see his arm here is very reminiscent of Ifrit, which is interesting. And I actually am I'm just now kind of thinking of a theory in my head. But um, let's scroll down. So here we have the trailer we've all seen, awesome trailer. And then the first thing that shows up is the world. Look at, I mean, look at this art, kind of, uh, Venice looking inspired, kind of like uh, Altissia in Final Fantasy 15, but we can click here, we'll go to more details, and it breaks down the world. And th I mean, this concept art is just incredible, beyond belief. The amount of scale that looks like is going to be put into this game is awesome. Like, this castle here, is not even like like the crystal is behind the castle uh, we'll get we'll get into that so the world is called valis valisthia Val valticia something a land blessed in the light of the mother crystals land of val val valis this is what the <laughs> valisthia is studded with mother crystals littering mountains of crystal that tower over the realms around them blessing them with aether aether which is obviously going to be the source of magic for generations, people have flocked to these beacons to take advantage of their blessing using the power of Aether to conjure magics with a K, because we're cool, <laughs> that let them live lives of comfort and plenty. Uh, great powers have grown up under each, up around each mother crystal, and uneasy peace has long reigned between them. Yet now the peace falters as the spread of the blight threatens to destroy their dominion. Screenshot of Phoenix here, uh, and then we get a little description of the icons and their dominance. Uh, it's pretty much what we all all expected uh, that the dominance kind of controlled the icon. It's kind of like a a mediator between them. Um, but here we see in some nations these dominants are treated as royalty in admiration of this strength. In others they are bound in fear of it and forced to serve as weapons of war. Those who are born as dominants cannot escape their fate, however cruel it may be. So, whew. It's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see the different when we travel to the different realms how they uh, how they differ from each other in terms of their icons and we'll kind of go through because you can we can make some inferences based off of the uh, the six realms here it looks like we'll have uh, six summons icons I don't know if we'll actually have summons or if they'll just be the the, uh, the icons and the dominance but starting here the grand Duchy of Rosaria, which is where our uh, protagonist is going to hail from. Long ago, a group of small independent provinces in the western Valicia found strength and unity and formed the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. After years of relative prosperity, the duchy now finds itself threatened by the spread of the blight, a threat that left unchecked would doubtless usher the realm to ruin. Rosaria draws its aether from Drake's Breath, a mother crystal situated on a volcanic island off the coast, the dominant of the phoenix icon of fire. It is enthroned as Archduke when they come of age. So let's actually back up for a second. We can see the world map here, right? Now there are six realms of this world, and we can, if you look at the map, you can obviously see these big, these big landmarks here which are the mother crystals. 
But if you look at the map, it's kind of weird with the website how it scrolls. You have one, two, three, four, five. Where is the sixth one? That is the question. And uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of break down the locations of each of these realms um, just based off of these uh, descriptions here. You can kind of infer some things. Um, but yeah, so Rosaria it says. Uh, in the western in western Valicia. so you would think this is western right here and it says a volcanic volcanic island off the coast so you would think that would be this right here right this would be what is it drake's breath yeah drake's breath you would think would be this one right here but get to the one of the other realms further down which seems more likely to be this one right here but we will continue on. The Holy Empire of Sandbreak. Sandbreak is the largest theocratic force in Valistia. The Empire's holy capital, Oriflame, is built around Drake's head, the mother crystal that blesses the surrounding province with abundance of aether. The people happily take advantage of this, living in comfort and security under the watchful gaze of the Holy Emperor, whom they worship as the living incarnation of the one true deity, the dominant of scratched out here this is kind of cool how they don't tell us right away who it is but again we can infer from uh the art here and just kind of what we know it serves as the empire's champion taking the field in times of war to rout its enemies uh and sand break based off of the descriptions is going to be this one right here and we can see the big this is that big castle we saw in the uh concept art and the giant crystal here and Based on what we know, and based on just looking at their uh, their banner here, it's most likely Shiva. This is where uh, the dominant of Shiva will reside, and you know, serves as the Empire's champion, taking the field in times of war. We see that in the trailer where we see Shiva and Titan battling the Battle of the Twin Realms or whatever it is. So that is that. We will move on to the Kingdom of Walode. Walode claims the entirety of Ash, the eastern half of Val Valistia, as its dominion. The kingdom's control of the continent has oft been tested by the orcs and other beastmen who make their home there, but the current ruler of the realm, dominant of, scratched out again, has succeeded in quelling their rebellions. Using the power of the kingdom's mother crystal, Drake's spine, this new king has built up a mighty army with which he now seeks to test the borders of his neighbors. So Kingdom of Walode says it's the entire eastern half of the Twin Realms. So this big thing right here is all the Kingdom of Walode, uh, their mother crystal right here, Drake's spine. And this would obviously be the capital city, I'm guessing. And based on the banner here, you see the horse. Uh, it, it, at first, it kind of reminded me of uh, what was that Ixin, Ixian from uh, I think Final Fantasy X is where I remember first seeing it, that summon. But then you see the sword here, you kind of think of the, the description of what it is. It would it, most likely that I would think this is going to be Odin. <clears throat> Moving on. The Dalmechian Republic. The Dalmechian Republic is made up of five states from which the members of its ruling parliament are drawn. Its mother crystal, Drake's Fang, is half hidden in the heart of a mountain. The Republic controls... The Republic's control over it and its aether, securing the obedience of the large part of the southern Valistia, the dominant of Titan icon of the dominant of Titan icon of Earth, is installed as a special advisor to Parliament and has a significant say in its decision making. So here we can see uh, it's inside a, a giant mountain. It's the southern part, so that would fall in this area right here where we see this big mountain-looking thing on the southern half of the map. So there's the Dalmechian Republic. Then we get into the Iron Kingdom, which I think, you look, you take a look at their banner right here, you can see that it almost fits exactly with this Mother Crystal right here. So, and when we read the description, it, it says that it's a, a small group of islands. So it's interesting to think where if that is the Iron Kingdom, where is uh, Rosaria? A small group of islands off the coast of Storm, the western half of Alicia's twin realms. Here, the crystalline orthodox an extreme faith that worships crystals reign supreme. The Iron Kingdom controls Drake's breath. 
Uh, I see. I'm, act I'm putting this together right now. So they both control Drake's breath. So they both do that. Interesting. So maybe this... We look right here. This is maybe Rosaria, this little thing here, and they just draw power from the crystal. And then these are the Iron Kingdoms that control the crystal. Oh, wow. That actually sets up a lot to, to decipher. Uh, that sits at the heart of one of the, their islands, long source of contention with neighboring Rosaria. Isolated and aloof from the mainland nations, the Iron Blood speak their own language, orthodox doctrines, judges dominance to be unholy abominations any un unlucky enough to be born on an island on the islands are executed so there, there's two theories that we can go with from here one that's kind of stemming from this is that ifrit is coming from the iron kingdom and it's uh one of the the people that was born with the with the power of the dominant and instead of being executed he escaped something or another and went into rosaria to kind of try and take over or something like that take out joshua and the phoenix so that's one theory right there um another theory we'll get into in a little bit um but that's very interesting to see how um I, I'm guessing that'll be an early part of the game with uh, seeing the Iron Kingdom and how ruthless they are in terms of their uh, religious doctrine. Finally, we have the Crystal Dominion sits at the heart of the Val heart of Valistia, uh, built around the tallest mother crystal, Drake's Tail. Many bloody battles were fought for control of this small plot of land due to its strategic importance, till the Warring Realms finally agreed to an armistice. As part of the peace treaty, the islands around Drake's Tail became an autonomous dominion led by a council of representatives from surrounding nations, each realm enjoying equal claim to the Mother Crystal's blessing. No dominant makes their own there. So that is right there behind the O. So those are um, those are the six realms of Final Fantasy 16. I think each of them is very, very unique. I think. Um, Sandbreak is going to be probably one of the coolest just based off of that concept art that we see uh, at the, the homepage with the giant uh, towering castle. The, the amount of uh, high fantasy in this is incredible. And I'm definitely uh, excited about what's going on with the Iron Kingdom and if that has anything to do with uh, Ifrit.